Hey everybody, it's Cotton here, and I am bringing you some more of the Wind Waker HD. Uh, last time we made our way to the Forest Haven, and we got the uh, the Deku Leaf, and we also entered into the Forbidden Woods. And uh, in this episode, we are going to uh, just start making our way through it, I guess. And so right here at the beginning is uh, kind of the main puzzle of the game. Are these uh, these plants here. You can't destroy them when they're closed, but you can uh, uh, destroy them when they're open like that, but um, you can't actually destroy them with anything just yet. And so in order to get around them, you have to pick up these uh, nuts here and then throw them at them. Uh, these do deteriorate, deteriorate over time, so you do have to be like fairly quick when you do it, but uh, that, that really won't be too much of an issue. And uh, right here we have uh, a chest right in the very first room of the dungeon. It's actually the uh, the dungeon map. I guess you could probably question like why you'd get the dungeon map so early, but I I like it. I like getting the dungeon map early. Honestly, like uh, a lot of the things that I didn't care for about in Zelda games, they completely fixed in A Link Between Worlds. Uh, I know that that just recently came out, but I have to say that that is like the most perfect Zelda game that has ever come out. It's there's like you know like every Zelda game usually has something that's annoying about it, but this one, A Link Between Worlds, um, doesn't. Uh, but really quick, uh, when you see a pile of leaves, you can use your Deku Leaf to um, uh, uh, get rid of them. And there's a fairy in here, and we're gonna need a fairy for later on, so I'd recommend keeping on, holding on to at least one extra one. And let's see, what can I put? I'll just, I'll just put that there, I guess. I don't want to accidentally like press the button and have a fairy, uh, <laughs> like, like accidentally waste one of my fairies. And, yeah, I, I do need to destroy this one of these guys, because uh, there's a tr treasure chest right there, and you have to destroy it with a. Um, uh, a stick here. So you just throw it. Oh, okay, so you actually do need it to be on uh, fire. That's interesting. Uh, I, I hate the green choo choos because they always like go down like that and you can't hit them. And you just have to like wait on them. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, Link Between Worlds. Uh, honestly, like while I was playing through this game, I, I started thinking of all of these things that were um, annoying and how I, uh, you know, I just think it doesn't have its place in a Zelda game anymore, and in A Link Between Worlds, like, they fixed all of those things I had issues with. Uh, but once that stick is on fire, you can uh, destroy the plant, and you get a Knight's Crest. And these are actually fairly rare, so I, I guess it's pretty important to uh, collect those. You need... oh shoot, I don't even know how many you need. Do you need ten? I can't remember how many you need. Where am I supposed to go? I think over here. I can't remember, but, um, you know, you just, like the other spoils, just collect as many as you can so far. Uh, shoot, where am I going? I'll go over here. I hope I can make it. That was cutting it a little close, but wait, where did I... I came from over there, so I have to go this way. <laughs> I'm getting turned around. Uh, so just like in Dragon Roost Cavern, uh, we're gonna have to come back to this room. Because if you continue on over that way, there is a chest, but it also has, um, uh, it has a plant on it, and so there's no way we can destroy it yet until we get the item that's in this dungeon. So we'll have to come back to, uh, this area later on, but, uh, just remember this room. Uh, okay, I was... Okay, so right here, um, yeah, you just use the gust of wind to uh, bring this closer to you. And then to go in the opposite direction, you just blow yourself away. Uh, some interesting use of physics in a Zelda game. I, I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, I wanted to say, like, it's probably not a good idea to um, uh, grind for uh, yellow feathers out at the beginning there, because... Uh, there's a lot of 
a lot of enemies that drop golden feathers, and so it's probably better to just make your way through the whole dungeon and then just, like, go back to certain areas and see if you can, uh, get them that way. But this... I don't even need to worry about these guys, I just... This is the only one I need to worry about. I guess I should also say, like, if you hit these guys with the wind, they'll go up, and then you just only need to hit them once. Um, just so you know, and I need... Do I need that? I can't remember if I need that. I don't think I do. No, I don't need that. What am I thinking? Man. Okay, so up here we have another plant, but, uh... Nothing nearby, so we have to go over there and get that nut that's over there. No, no, I thought... Damn it. Okay, back up here again. Hopefully not embarrassing myself, but... Um, have to go across this again. What would you call this? I don't even know... What, 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 what would you call this contraption? I don't know. Uh, but here's the nut we need. And so this... Uh, can... I guess it can be a little tricky because you don't want to blow that thing off. I never noticed that it had weight. I'd never noticed that before. It's actually like making this thing lean to one side. That's kind of cool. Uh, but just throw it at that, and then there you go. And next, what you want to do is actually drop down here. You do that, and then uh, you get a little, a little treasure chest here. It has 20 rupees. Not too important, but... Uh, you know, rupees are always nice to get, I suppose. And so, uh, yeah. Let's just head back up so that we can uh, go through the door here. And so, um, uh, we need to blow that out of the way because there's these uh, vine things that will completely surround it. And so we just need to get it out of there. Uh, this dungeon, it's still fairly straightforward. There's uh, quite a few levels to it, which might be a little bit daunting when you first play it, but it's it's actually not too bad. You'll, you know, like as you play through it, you'll realize that you don't actually end up getting stuck or, you know, you, you know, try to figure out like where to go next. It's, you know, you kind of figure it out pretty nicely, so. Oh, can I make it? Yeah, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, just make our way across here. And so as you see this, you'll probably realize what item you're getting in this dungeon, which is a boomerang. And you'll be using that boomerang to uh, bring this thing down. So, let's collect that. What is that? Uh, nine rupees? Then head over here. There we go. Uh, let's see. I guess... I guess I can go up there first. Uh, up here, there's... What you get is, oh, my dog's making noise again, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Uh, she's snoring. Uh, but right there you blow the leaves off and you open up the, um, uh, teleporter. I completely forgot, but I wanted to mention that, like, those remind me of the, uh, the cauldrons from, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And how that was kind of a similar thing. Uh, you use the cauldrons to, uh, teleport between the world. Now these things, these are morts, and uh, they don't do any damage to you, all they do is they just cling on to you and slow you down. So you notice like the more that you get on you, the slower you go. Um, <laughs> they're, they're kind of a funny enemy. I, uh, I like them. Shoot, where did I just come from? I think... There we go. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, but yeah, that's all they do. They're, you know, they're not too bad. Now let's see... And here you want to go all the way around and grab the uh, single bomb flower that's in here. And then blow up uh, uh, these things. These these barricades here. So you blow up the first one and then you have another one that's... Oh shoot! I was afraid I was going to do that, but... <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to be like too far away and I'll have to like go grab another bomb, but... I, I think it has a pretty... Yeah, it, yeah, you throw it close enough. I really don't have anything to be worried about, so I don't know, I don't know why I <laughs> had to run into that thing. But now we got the compass, so we get the compass and the uh, the the map like really really quick in this dungeon, and I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah, kind of like how in you know Link Between Worlds, you know, it's like you always have the dungeon map, and like the only item you really care to get in a dungeon is the. Uh, uh, the compass. I, I 
probably shouldn't talk too much about that, or, you know, I, I don't care. I, I'll kind of talk about whatever I want to. I think there's plenty of people that do Let's Plays and talk specifically about the gameplay, but, you know, I think if I'm going to try to set myself apart, I don't know, I'll just talk about whatever I want to. Oh, jeez, Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. Um, yeah, that's my dog snoring there. Uh, she can get pretty loud when she snores sometimes, so if you can hear her, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think there's too much I can do about it because she's a pretty heavy sleeper, <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to be waking her up just by yelling at her. Uh, but let's see, we got our key, so the next place we need to go is through this door here. Did the rupees? They did not respawn. Nope. Oh, okay, so in here, um, yeah, get a couple more golden feathers, but, um, yeah, we'll bring this thing closer to us again. Stop! Stop! <laughs> you have, like, yeah, you can't, like, exit out of that right away. That's interesting. I wonder if I bring out, oh, I can't try it now, but I'm just trying to see, like, I don't know, I'm just trying to be too fancy, I guess. Um, so you see these guys, these are Mothulas, I think? Uh, oh shoot, they also drop golden feathers, which I should have tried to get from it. Um, but yeah, these guys drop golden feathers. Uh, so you can get some from them. But we've got more uh, pea hats here, and these guys drop golden feathers, and I'll grab it from him. After I get rid of him, though. So here, I'm just going to make my way up to the top. Uh, let's see, there's three more of these guys. And they're totally going to hit me. <laughs> see if I can hit, like... Oh, I hit two. I was going to try to hit all three of them, but... Oh, well. So I'll go through this door. And so this is... It's really just another Mothula. Um, you can hit it with the, um, the Deku Leaf and... Jeez, oh, get back here. Um, come on. Come all the way down. Oh, no, should I miss them? But, um... Yeah, he, he's the exact same as the other ones, or she is. It's just the only difference is that it has extra wings on it. And so, you know, it just has a little bit more health. But once you get rid of all the wings, it just turns into a regular one. So, uh, it's not too bad. If I could just keep him still, that's the hard part is trying to catch up to him, especially when he's getting those morphs out of him. It slows you down and you just can't keep up with them. But, uh, oh, okay, let's see what you drop. Some rupees. I am really high on rupees, and there is no possible way of increasing your rupee bag at the moment. So it's, yeah. Getting rid of the rupee limit is really nice. But we get our island uh, item from this dungeon, the boomerang. And so the boomerang is exactly the same as every other Zelda game. Except in this one, which was the very first time it did it, you can uh, lock on to multiple items at once. And, um... Uh, yeah, it will attack uh, those, those items each time. And so, let's see, up here... Oh, actually, when you, uh, hit these guys with the boomerang, you can actually, like, kill them, like, right away. Oh, that kills them, too. I was hoping I, I could get a, a golden feather, but this just directly kills them. Oh, well. Uh, but let's see, you can go up to the top here. And, uh, in order to get up here, what you have to do is you have to stop, and that guy is gonna do something! Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. You keep moving. Okay, but, uh... Yeah, so I'm just gonna make my way all the way up to the top here. And now with the boomerang, uh, we don't need to rely on those nuts anymore. Uh, the boomerangs will destroy the plants that are on the doors. And if you see down there, like, that's actually how we get out of here. And so, up here we have a treasure chest. And it has a joy pendant. Yeah, that's a letdown. 
Um, man, I am running a little low on health. I don't like that. The nice thing about the Deku Leaf is you can drop, like, long distances and then just, like, pull it out at the last minute and save yourself from getting any damage. Uh, okay, but let's see. So, in here we need to uh, just get rid of these things so that uh, we can fly across or, or glide across, I guess. So, we'll jump and then use the Deku Leaf and uh, here we go. Another uh, treasure chest right here in the open. And it's another joy pendant. <laughs> so like I said, you didn't really need to grind for joy pendants if you didn't want to. You can just try to progress normally. But like I said, for the sake of this let's play, I'm, uh, you know, I just grinded for them to get them out of the way. Kind of makes it easier for me to keep track of everything. And uh, this actually opened up a completely new place for us, so we can uh, drop down here. And I think this will actually be a good spot to end off this video. So next time we will uh, continue on in the Forbidden Woods. I'll see you then.